I want to show you a simple sales order to invoice process in Dynamics AX 2012. I'm going to start on the accounts receivable area page. We'll go to all sales orders in the common area. And then I'm going to click on the sales order button to create a new one. I'm going to look up my customer, which is easy. I only have one. And then I'm going to add some additional information. I'm going to open up the general fast tab here and select the site in warehouse from which I'm pulling this inventory. Let me also open up the shipping fast tab and select the mode of delivery and the delivery terms. I'm going to click on OK and that'll create a new sales order. From here I can add items to my sales order. I'm going to add one item here. These are all the items I have in my system. I'll select the one I want. And I can add as many lines as I want to just by clicking on Add Line or Add Lines. So I'm just going to select one line. The next thing to do then is to confirm the sales order. So I'm going to go to the Cell ribbon and click on Sales Order Confirmation. If I want to, I can print out the sales confirmation. So I'll do that. There it is. So the next thing I want to do with this order is I want to create the picking list. So go to the Pick and Pack ribbon, click on Picking List. I'll print this out. There's the picking list. Now let's assume that this order has been picked. The next thing I want to do is click on the Picking List registration. This will indicate that the items have actually been picked. I could select them individually, or I can just go to Updates here and Update All. That'll show the line item completed. I'll hit Close. The next thing then to do is to print the packing slip. The packing slip is going to be included in the customer package, so I'll print that out now. So now I'm done with the sales order and I want to generate the invoice. So I'll go up to the Invoice ribbon here, select Invoice. That'll take the sales order information and turn it into an invoice in Accounts Receivable. Let's print that out. The invoice is complete. I'm going to hit Close. We can close out the sales order here. Then let's take a look at that new invoice that we just created. We'll go back to the Accounts Receivable area page and look up Open Customer Invoices. scroll down, and there's the invoice that we just created. So this is a very simple sales order to invoice process in Dynamics AX 2012.